Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Coach Swift. Today, I want to talk to you about why when you run a sports performance training business, you do not want to uh, do it for only one sport or two sports. You want to be open-minded uh, to taking on all sports, okay? Um, th there is some difficulty in this, but there are several reasons why you want to do this. Uh, at least start off by doing this and always being open-minded uh, for your training program, having those um, other demographics of sports, okay? So one, if we include football, basketball, volleyball, soccer, softball, baseball, track, um, hockey, wrestling, golf, tennis, okay, all those, then you are opening up for more people to be let into your program. Obviously, that's a no-brainer, Coach Swift. Tell me something I don't know, okay? So a big mistake that people do is in sports performance, they only try to go for the one sport they truly care about. I see it all the time in my city, and it's always towards football. Not only is it towards football, it's just sports performance training for like two positions in football. But they don't market it that way, but they only take them, okay? Um, if you're going to do that, you might as well just call yourself a quarterback trainer, a running back trainer, uh, as far as football goes, a um corners and safeties uh, trainer or a wide receiver trainer. If you're a sports performance trainer, you help all athletes get faster, stronger, more explosive. You help their agility. Um, hopefully in 2023, you are realizing uh, the need to help them in their uh, nutrition from simple guidelines. Even that, even that means just telling them over and over, kick out soda and drink more water, um, eat more protein, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, you want to expand it all, okay? I'm in a city that's over 2 million now. In the beginning, I opened it to everybody. Now, because I'm in Texas, obviously, most of the people I got in the beginning and still get are going to be mostly football, okay? Uh, before I had my name, though, I couldn't be that selective, okay? Um, I wasn't an expert yet in any one position, any one uh, sport. My goal was... Bigger, faster, stronger, okay, for everybody. So there will be times as at the track of the fields that as long as they had tennis shoes and a pair of cleats, I was going to get a lot of athletes anyways. I was going to have baseball, soccer, softball, um, and football players all out there. I had multiple sports out there, and a lot of them played other sports too. Another thing, a lot of these athletes are multiple sports, so you might as well take them all in. Um, you don't need to get super specific uh, for a while in their athlete performance training. So you might as well peak up the amount of calls that you can get, okay? Uh, like I said, eventually, though, I became known more for not just football players, but more for helping uh, offensive linemen, defensive linemen, and linebackers become bigger, faster, stronger in the right way. I now have a lot of volleyball players. Um, I went, I think two years ago, I had three volleyball players. I now have 25, okay? And that's... Not even, uh, and that that's still without me doing bigger groups uh, during the school year when they're all busy with club, okay? So you want to be open-minded to training as many sports as possible. It's not until some years later when you've really captured the market and results you've given uh, that you can market. A lot of handshaking with club coaches, high school coaches, parents that you can uh, master that one group. But even then, Nine times out of ten, I'm going to say you need to be open-minded to all sorts of sports, okay? Uh, if you're not, then you might as well, you know, like I have a friend. He does uh, sports performance, but for just golfers. Well, he can do that because he has probably 50 golfers uh, that come into his uh, program, okay? Uh, but he's still allowed, when he moved into his own location, he still allowed anybody who was... Uh, volleyball, basketball, football, um, track, baseball to come over into his program, okay? Uh, now that he has another trainer under him, is there room to change this? Yes, okay? And he even told me it's a very bold, risky move because for sports performance, I'm saying only one sport after this date can come, okay? Um, so strength in numbers, uh, and you will learn how to piece that all together, and you don't want to cancel the market. The market will gradually work itself in, okay, like it did for me. Mostly football, uh, mostly volleyball. Out of football was mostly certain positions. 
Um, but I still get phone calls for baseball. I still get phone calls for soccer. Um, as long as they're open to training for that big athletic foundation that I work for, we're going, okay? So work your strength in numbers. Uh, don't be um, against any other sport. As long as a parent knows that you're there to build a totally big athletic foundation, that fitness, that conditioning, um, that whole entire movement development is going to help them in whatever sport they're in. And you're not just trying to be sports specific or anything. You're going to make a killing in this industry if everything else goes well. Okay. So keep that in mind. I hope that works out. Um, and I wish you all the best of luck after this, um, as you go take on more phone calls with every single sport parent out there.